So if you run a kill screen on your Mac or as a Windows computer, you boot up, you can join the same kill screen. It's like a Jitsi session or like a Zoom meeting. Um, you send a link around and everyone can just join. I can go and call people and you see them on the top right of your desktop. So there's video chat built in and audio chat, but these are just features for us, just adjacent things. That is not the core of the experience. The core of the experience is what you see in the middle, which is here in this case, Mary, Jason, and Robert each share one window from the desktop. So you can see Mary shares a command prompt. If you look carefully, it's on Windows. Uh, Jason shares a Chrome window from macOS. Robert shares, I don't know what, VS Code from macOS. Um, and the way they do this, they just move them also over the window to, sh to, to share the window. Only that is transmitted. It's not the full desktop. It's not like you know other remote desktop tools where you always give access to the full thing, but you only give access to specific windows, and we only allow remote control of these particular windows. And if you look carefully also, you can see that Jason is now typing into Mary's window. Robert is typing into Jason's window, scrolling. And Mary is typing into Robert's window. So it's multi-editing across uh, multiple users. That's in, in its essence what code screen enables. Very fast uh, screen sharing, instant, you know, getting the window across to other folks, recreating these windows as if they were local, so you can interact with windows instantly as soon as they are shared with you. Um, and everyone can share at the same time. And then there are some edge things like you can copy and paste between windows. I could grab now a piece from Mary's window and paste it into Robert's window which is especially great if you line between you know, designers and engineers. You might have to copy color codes or you know, a junior engineer and a senior engineer. You copy uh, code snippets between different apps. And it doesn't matter if one of us is on VS Code, another one on IntelliJ, another one on Emacs or so. Of course, it works for any app uh, in a very agnostic way.